Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've had a request to draw a walrus. So all that you're going to need is some plain white paper, you'll need a pencil, a pen and an eraser. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF on how to draw horse galloping, which you can download from the link just here. So let's get started. Okay, so using our ruler, we're going to draw a diagonal line top left hand corner to bottom right hand corner. Just a line like so, don't press too hard. This is just a preparatory line. Okay, there we have it. Now we're just going to draw the body of the walrus. So starting just about here, I'm just going to draw a line coming down. It's gonna be like a wonky semicircle, and you'll see what I mean by this. So I'm just going to just join it up like this draw a shape like this. So this part just comes out a bit more. Can you see that? Bring this line down a little bit further and then I can erase all the extra lines that I did here. Okay, so there's the big tummy. Now we're going to add the head, so, or the muzzle really. This comes out and round like so. Okay, we're going to draw the tusks. So one tusk here, one tusk here. Did you know that both male and female walruses have tusks? And they use them actually like a pickaxe to, kind of, to help themselves get out of the water and onto the ice. They kind of stick them into the ice and then haul themselves out. Obviously they use them for the defense and other things. Okay, so the first forelimb we're going to do here, and this is a shape just like this. Just copy what I'm doing. There we go. Now remember you can hit pause and rewind. So if I'm going too quickly, just do that. Now the other forelimb starts just here, just a little bit further up. So the one's gonna be slightly curved the other way and it's gonna to come to there. So slightly higher up than this one because this one's closer to us, this one's further away from us. And it comes inwards, just like that. Now we're going to do the back of the head. So carry on this line for the muzzle. It's gonna carry on for the back of the head. I'm just gonna draw like a shape like this. And then it comes inwards like that. Now for the tail. So starting here, just find your point. Okay, you with me? If you are, well done. So we're just going to go all the way down. I'm gonna go to a point, come up, inwards and stop just there. Now we're just going to add in the eye. Excellent, it's really looking like a walrus. You're doing so well if you've got this far, you should congratulate yourself. And let's carry on. Now I'm going to switch to pen, but please carry on in pencil. This is only that you can see it better on camera. So I'm going to start up here, just here, just above the mouth. I'm going to draw a line coming down. It's going to come out slightly and then curve round and then curve again. And it joins the tummy just down here. Okay. Then we're just going to do the top. So this is where the nose is. We can't see the nose all that well. It's just kind of hidden at the top there. There's a couple of bumps, so one bump, another bump, and then we're just going to bring it round here to the top of the head and it comes down. So I'm gonna carry on this line all the way down the back. It's going to come in, it's gonna bump again, big bump, and then you're gonna bring it down to get to here. And then when we start the tail, it's just going to come out again. We're going to follow this preparatory line that we did before, all the way down to there. And then we're just going to follow it all the way up like we did before. And then we're just going to make this line curved where it hits the ground. It's going to come up slightly here, okay? Where it hits the front forelimb. 
and then we're going to draw the flippers so that part then one line that comes around like that another little curved line that comes around like that and then we're going to bring it upwards to join the preparatory line that we did before okay so it's going to have a bit of a curve in it so just carry on going all the way upwards all the way upwards until it hits the body okay now we're just going to draw the flippers so just draw one line coming up like that and another line coming up like that and it's so simple it's just like that okay we're going to bring this line to do the chest and the tummy that just joins that line there Okay, we're getting there. So the other four limb, this one comes all the way down like this, and then it's got like a little kink in it, and then it comes all the way down, and then hits the ground. So that's like that. We're going to carry on doing the tail. So we're just going to draw the hind limbs. So it's just a series of kind of wavy lines, just like this. Okay, just draw a couple of lines like that. Okay, you with me? You're doing really well if you are. So we're going to go back to the head. We're going to fill in these tusks. So tusk number one that comes all the way down. And then it goes all the way up. Then we're just going to draw the other side of the mouth. So that comes down and round like that. Okay, that's actually in shadow, so I'm going to colour that in. Going to draw the other tusk, which comes down and ends slightly higher than this one. Goes all the way up, like so. Now we're going to add in the cheek, so it's going to have like a cheek like this. And then a couple of wrinkles, just like so. And then let's just draw another link, little wrinkle here. Now for the eyes, it's got these really small little beady eyes. So I'm just going to draw a tiny little eye like that, but then we're going to surround it by lots of wrinkles. Morrises can live up to 40 years old, so they can get pretty wrinkly. Just like the one that we're doing at the moment. So I'm just drawing a couple of wrinkles around the eyes. Let's draw a little bag under the eye like that. Okay, I'm going to add in a couple more line so one line there draw a couple of wrinkles on its forehead and then on the blubber area we're just going to add some more so these warruses can get pretty big they can weigh over a ton so they're big guys all right a couple more wrinkles just down here i'm going to add in a few more wrinkles a couple around here okay and then a couple around here. There we go. And then we're going to add in the sand. So it's just kind of just sitting on some sand just here. So I'm just going to color in this area in black just because there is no light down there. And then I'm just doing a little bit of shadow just underneath it. Just to show that it's actually lying on something just lying on a beachy area at the moment okay just put in the ground just like so a little bit of black just underneath here there we go okay before i do any more i'm going to raise all the pencil lines and if you haven't gone over it in pen i suggest you do that part now Okay, so I've raised all the pencil lines. I am now going to just draw a little bit of shadow just behind these tusk areas. So just on one side of the tusk, we draw a tiny bit of shadow just to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Just like that. I'm just going to add in a tiny bit of shadow just behind here. And a little bit there. And that's our finished porous. Oh, apart from one thing, I forgot to add in its ear. It's so small that I almost forgot, but walruses do have ears and it's a tiny little dot there. Okay, now it's finished. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. This is our finished walrus drawing. I hope you enjoyed doing it. If you did, check out other animals. There's a link just here. And do consider subscribing and liking. And I hope to see you in the next one.
Thank you. Bye-bye.